Hello, this is Les. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show some of the little steam engines that I built over the years. This is a design that I came up with that I'm particularly fond of. Number one, because they're very easy to build with my little lathe and they run good. Inexpensive material that can be obtained from the hardware store. This one was built, as you can see, in 2010. 2010. 2002. So I, I built these over the years. Like I say, I enjoy building them, so I've, I've certainly got several of them here. I think I've got two, four, six. I've got eight of them. I probably have more someplace around. The vertical boiler is just made from a piece of inch and a half copper water pipe. Copper is pretty expensive right now, but you can normally buy short pieces at uh, some hardware stores. And you need these for the boiler and then another piece that is split and heated up with the torch red hot and so it becomes softened and then you can flatten it into sheets and cut out discs and then I made this little mandrel on my lathe and to put this copper washer on here and then tighten it down and then use your hammer to flatten it over the edge and that's how the top is made and then this particular one or one of these is for the the bottom size and then uh, once they're made to fit in the copper jacket they're drilled out for the the little packing nut right here for the steam line a little ferrule here for the fill pipe and safety valve and then this i think is 3 8 inch copper for the for the fire stack and that's the flue. The the dimpling on the copper tubing is made with a uh, a little tool that I put in my drill press and then the copper is slid over and by pushing down with the drill press you can dimple these lines all the way around to give it the effect of uh, a rivet line. Copper is very soft so it's not at all hard on the drill press. The engines run on sternal canned heat. It burns very clean. It has a fairly pleasant odor, not an unpleasant odor by any means. So for running them, the steam engines indoor, it's not a problem fill up the little cup here. The water goes in here and these are safety valves. I usually make them up a batch at a time because I use them on all my steam engines. Uh, it's the fill plug and it's got incorporated in it the pressure release for the safety valve. I will fill up a few of these and start them up.
Oh, I also wanted to mention that the uh, the engines are single acting steam engines and they have a piston valve that's operated with an eccentric. And there's one here that is a little different. It has an oscillating cylinder steam engine and this this one happens to be double acting but it's a smaller diameter cylinder so it uses about the same amount of steam one here is the wobbler This one just ran out of water, so I got to put that out.
So this uh, wobbler, as you can see, uh, so named because the cylinder wobbles back and forth. It's got a rigid uh, connecting rod. And as this wobbles back and forth, uh, the steam ports line up to uh, put the steam in the cylinder and exhaust it back out. So there's four steam ports on the cylinder and the this little steam chest right here and this one just ran out of the wobbler just ran out of water and so did this one so we're all done thanks for watching